Good morning, it's Tuesday, and that means it's time for another tutorial where I try and condense a DeFi lesson into just two minutes. So the Twitterverse has been buzzing an expectation of Ethereum flirting with its all-time high, which it first reached three years ago. And wouldn't you believe it, literally the moment I finished recording this, it did it. Congratulations, Anthony Sisano, you are free. Things really are very different now, so with ETH2 available to stake, it feels like the right moment to cover some simple ways you too can stake, even if you don't have a buttload of ETH just lying around doing nothing. Phase zero of Ethereum 2.0 has been live for around two months now with 2,071,236 ETH staked. That is 2,750,601,408 dollars, which is the same pretty much as the market cap of EOS and Monero. ETH 2.0 is proof of stake, so you might be wondering, well, how do I stake? Now, there are two ways to stake on Ethereum 2.0, and the optimal method is to become a validator, but this does require a certain degree of technical know-how, as well as a cool 32 ETH, which at today's prices is just shy of $45,000. Fortunately, there are other routes in by joining staking pools. So if you head to the ETH2 staking website and select the less than 32 ETH option, it will give you a list of staking services and you can pick the one that you feel most comfortable with, whatever that may mean to you. Now, exchanges are also offering staking on ETH2. Binance, for instance, has launched a staking product offering, they say, up to 20% APY, with rewards distributed in BETH tokens. But there's a major caveat here. If you read the small print, your stake cannot be redeemed during the first phase, and that may take more than two years. And this is because staked ETH cannot be redeemed until shard chains are fully implemented. So you're in this for the long run. But there is an alternative that allows you to stake without losing liquidity, and it's called Lido. And according to their primer, the Lido DAO is a community that builds liquid staking service for Ethereum. Lido allows users to earn staking rewards without locking assets or maintaining staking infrastructure. Now, those who deposit ETH into Lido to stake for ETH 2.0 will receive ETH in return, which obviously stands for staked ETH. Now, st ETH is actually a currency that rebases every day. Now, check out our recent video on Algo's stable coins for more information on how that works. You can even use the st ETH as collateral on AVA and gain more ETH, which you can use, yes, to stake more. Kind of a flywheel. So shout out to Lido, because that's pretty cool. So, without further ado, let's put two minutes on the clock and get started. So the first staking pool we're gonna be taking a look at is through Argent, which is a simple smart wallet for crypto you can download on your smartphone. Now there are tons of great opportunities to gain DeFi exposure here, combined with a really nice UX, so we're fans of this one. Now first off, you're gonna need some ETH in your Argent wallet, and you can either send it here from another wallet or exchange, buy through a card or a bank transfer, and when you have your ETH ready, you click on the Invest tab, and from here, select ETH2 staking, and the Lido State ETH product. Now, it's important to know that Lido will apply a 10% fee for staking, and this is distributed between the node operators. However, Argent themselves doesn't take any fees for staking. So now let's go ahead and select Buy Investment. Argent selects the best gas fees for the users, and now the moment has come. We enter the amount of ETH we would like to stake and hit Invest Now. Once your transaction is completed, you will receive st ETH tokens. Now, another way you can stake your ETH is to use staker.io, which is a decentralized platform that combines staking and DeFi and traditional staking with non-custodial management. To do that, first head to staker.io, launch the app and connect your Ethereum wallet, such as MetaMask or Wallet Connect. Select Start Staking and then enter the amount you would like to stake. Although, you must keep in mind that this staking pool will have you lock up your staked funds for a period of 12 months, which, let's be honest, is better than Binance, but hey, this is why we looked at Argent first. Your percentage return on your stake depends on the total amount of ETH staked on the network. You can enter your staked amount and calculate your rewards through this website, stakingrewards.com forward slash earn forward slash Ethereum 2.0, but also keep in mind that APR decreases when the total amount of staked ETH increases. 
So that's it for this week. I hope it was helpful. If it was, then go ahead and smash the living bejesus out of the like button and subscribe, won't you? See you next time.